Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey everyone. So I want to ask for prayers, positive thoughts, and positive vibes for Aunt Mary. Now, if you're new to my channel and you don't know who Aunt Mary is, Aunt Mary is um, my husband's Aunt Mary, who's married to Uncle Harry, and they are both 90, and I have done a video on here before, and I will try to link it down below where I vlogged and I went over to their house. Um, I picked oranges one time. I just went over to pick up coupons because she saves me coupons all the time. And she's just, both of them are just wonderful, wonderful people. So since Mama's not here, Aunt Mary's been subbing at Bunko for us um, quite often. And Friday night we played Bunko and she fell down at Bunko. And if you're new to my channel and you don't know, Mama is my mother who also plays Bunko with me. And she, a year ago today, we were at Bunko and she fell down right on her face, scraped up her face, got bruised, broke her left um, hand, her finger. And it was really, really bad. It was just awful. So this past Friday night, um, it happened again with Aunt Mary. Um, we were finished with our bunko game and we were going to play another game and we were gathering around the dining room table and I told Mary to come and sit next to me and so there was a lot of people in the dining room so she was going to go around through the living room and come through that way. Well, there was a step down um, into the living room and she didn't see the step and she fell right down on her face got stitches up here just like mama she looks just like mama did i can't believe this happened to me again so she got stitches up there she got stitches there she broke her arm in her arm i'm going to try to show you the humerus bone is the bone that goes from your shoulder down to your elbow and that's the one that she broke in her right arm and she's in the hospital this happened Friday night, and today is Monday, and she's still in the hospital, and they're trying to decide if they want to do surgery or not. Um, she is 90, so, you know, it's kind of scary to do surgery. It's scary to do surgery any time, but especially for somebody of her age, even though she looks and acts like she's 70, um, it's just really scary. And so if you could just please um, pray for her to... Uh, for have a speedy recovery, um, to be free of pain. She's in a lot of pain, and Mary is the type of person that never complains about pain at all. So when if she says she's in pain, then I know that she's in an incredible amount of pain. So um, if you could play, pr please pray for a speedy recovery um, and that she will be free of pain. Also for Harry, because he's worried sick about her. I know he is. Um, you know, they've been married many, many years, and they're just a wonderful couple. And so I know that he's really upset about it, um, and he's lost at home without her. And so I just pray that she can recover well soon and go home and be with Harry and their two dogs, um, Dixie and Ruby. And I just, I can't believe it happened again. Almost a year ago to the day that it happened to Mama. Now with Mama, she was outside and she was going down the um, walkway and there was a step down that she didn't see and just fell right on her face. The same thing happened to Mary Friday night. I can't believe that I let that happen again. None of us can believe that it happened again. We've been talking about it, you know, it, it happened a year ago. We always talk about, oh, We'll never let that happen again, right? Oh, that could never happen again. And sure enough, when it was happening and she was falling, it was like it was in slow motion. I could not believe it was happening again. I just could not believe it. So after she fell, um, they called 911 and the ambulance came and got her and took her to the hospital. And then I drove over to the hospital and I stayed with her. Um, while they sewed her up and in the emergency department and then put her in a room and luckily the hospital is only like 
maybe a fourth of a mile from her and Uncle Harry's house. So while she was there, I went over and told, because Uncle Harry was going to be expecting Mary to come home. Um, because my friend uh, Kathy, who also lives close to them, was going to take her home. She picked her up, and she was going to take her home. My friend Kathy also has a mother who's elderly, and she had fallen about six months ago and broke her hip, but she's doing wonderful now. So anyway, my friend Kathy was going to take her home, so Uncle Harry was expecting her to come home. So I went over there and told him what happened and told him to stay at home, and I would go be with Mary and... Um, you know, stay with her and keep him informed and let him know and he needed to just stay home and take care of the dogs and I'd let him know. So then in a couple hours when I found out they were going to keep her, then I called him and told him to go to bed and, you know, he could come the next day. So so she's still in the hospital. She's still in a lot of pain with her arm and um, they might do surgery because they said if they put a rod, they could put a rod and a pen in it and it would promote healing faster um, so they're trying to decide you know what to do if they should do that or not so anyway just please 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 keep them in your prayers um, I can't believe I'm on here again almost exactly a year later with the same thing asking for um, prayers and positive vibes and positive thoughts and just anything if you can just please lift them up um, in any way possible shape or form I would so appreciate it and and um but on the good news is mama's doing great mama's in Mississippi and she's doing great there and she recovered from her fall um fabulously she doesn't have any ill effects except for the fact that her left hand her finger sticks up like this and it won't go down unless they do surgery um, to make it go down and even that they said they really can't guarantee that it would work so we opted not to have surgery um, because if you're 86 well, she's going to be 86 on July 1st if that's the worst thing you have is a finger that sticks up well then that's okay so yeah so thank you all so much for all your um, continued support and prayers for mama and please just think about mary aunt mary and uncle harry and i really really appreciate it thank you all so much bye